Welcome back. The CDC is urging states to rethink reopening plans, even as the country has hit a plateau in the number of recent COVID deaths and cases. Health officials fear a fourth wave of the pandemic could strike if restrictions are lifted too soon. Meanwhile, the White House announcing plans to ramp up vaccination distribution and the fight against the virus. ABC's Andrew Dimbert is in Washington with the latest details. As more states roll back COVID restrictions and ramp up reopening. It is now time to open Texas 100%. Top health officials are warning about another potential spike in cases. I remain deeply concerned about a potential shift in the trajectory of the pandemic. And now with the new Johnson & Johnson one dose shot making its way to hospitals across the country, several states are easing restrictions. Massachusetts is lifting indoor dining limits and opening other indoor facilities like gyms to 50% capacity. The good news here is having another effective vaccine. The vaccines are critical to a return to normalcy. In Philadelphia, a FEMA-run COVID vaccination clinic is working to get 6,000 people inoculated a day. This impressive operation will go a long way in helping us deliver the vaccine to Philadelphians who actually really need it. From local leaders to the federal government, the White House announcing a new partnership between big pharma companies Merck and Johnson & Johnson to get more shots in the arms of Americans. Here's what all this means. We're now on track to have enough vaccine supply for every adult in America by the end of May. Meanwhile, efforts to get kids back in the classroom press on. In California, the public school system is considering tapping into more than six and a half billion dollars from the state government to resume in-class learning. Most California public schools have not held in-person learning since March of last year. We want schools to safely reopen, period, full stop. And the CDC says over the last week, COVID cases and deaths have leveled off, but it's still no better than what the U.S. saw during last summer's peak. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, Washington.